The FDA is warning of a possible risk of a rare neurological condition in people who get the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine. The condition is known as Guillain-Barre syndrome. There have been 100 suspected cases of it in the U.S. To put that into context, nearly 13 million Americans have received the J&J single-dose vaccine. And while a majority of those cases were serious and required hospitalizations, most people make a full recovery. I want to bring in Dr. Brittany LaManda now to explain exactly what this syndrome is and what you need to know. She is a senior neuropsychiatrist at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Explain, if you will, first off, what this syndrome is exactly. Yeah, so thank you so much for having me. So as you pointed out, it's an incredibly rare neurological condition. Um, it's it's an autoimmune condition, which basically means it's the body's immune system attacking itself. It typically um, precedes an infection in the body, so either a virus or bacterial infection, but it can sometimes occur in the context of uh, something else foreign uh, in the body, such as a vaccine or transplant, um, but usually there's an event that triggers the body's response uh, in this case. Who is most at risk and what signs should people be watching out for? Yeah, so it typically uh, presents first as leg weakness. So that might be a first sign people can uh, look out for. Um, it doesn't necessarily affect one group more than another. However, um, it does tend to present more, slightly more in men, and there is an increased risk with age. So uh, the older we get, the more likely we are to present with this. Um, but otherwise, it really can sort of affect individuals at random. Now I can. Um, and Johnson & Johnson said in a statement that the chance of having this occur is very low, and we strongly support raising awareness of the signs and symptoms of rare events. So what do you say to patients who are concerned about getting or who have already gotten this particular shot? Yeah, so if, if patients have already gotten the vaccine and there's there's no sign of, um, of any weakness, then there's really nothing to worry about. The symptoms of Guillain-Barre really, um, you know, occur pretty rapidly um, and they sort of plateau after two weeks. So if you've had the vaccine and you don't have a response initially, uh, there's really nothing to worry about. It's not very likely that it would occur later on. Um, I advise patients, I would advise patients, it's, it is incredibly rare and the benefit of getting the vaccine is obviously very high as we know um, the COVID virus can be quite deadly. Um, individuals who do feel like they're at higher risk might be advised to consider one of the other vaccines. But um, again, it is an incredibly rare complication of the vaccine. Um, so it's not, uh, it's not something that, that people should um, be overly concerned about. However, there are other options out there. Dr. Brittany LaManda, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.